Welcome to New Possibilities. I speak truth to power without fear. Here you go again. Here we go again. Another black man killed by the police and there's no justice. The brother Kai Gurley was simply walking down the stairs in his project apartment building in Brooklyn, minding his own business. He wasn't committing any crime. He wasn't armed. He wasn't doing anything illegal. He's simply walking down the stairs. And this cop, this Asian cop named Peter Liang, fired a shot that killed his brother. His life is snuffed out like that in an instant. So eventually the case goes to trial. And Peter Liang is charged with manslaughter. After the trial, he is convicted of manslaughter. And the prosecutor, Ken Thompson, instead of doing what a strong prosecutor would do, instead of demanding a harsh sentence against this cop for killing this brother, that Uncle Ruckus prosecutor, that sellout prosecutor, recommended no jail time. He caved under pressure. He caved under pressure of the Asian community. That Asian community had been protesting there, demanding that this officer be let go, demanding that this officer face no jail time. So this punk prosecutor bowed to that pressure and he recommended no jail time. And the Asian judge on that case, decided to go along with what the prosecutor advocated for. In fact, that judge went a step further. He said, well, let's downgrade the conviction from manslaughter, despite the fact that the jury heard all the evidence and they reached their own conclusion. They reached their own verdict. This judge decided to step beyond that verdict, to go beneath that verdict and downgrade the charge to negligent homicide. This judge felt that this was an accident and that this pig shouldn't have to spend any time in jail. The prosecutors originally wanted that officer to spend some time under house arrest. And this judge said, no, we're not going to have this good police officer under house arrest, essentially. So he allowed this killer to basically walk free without facing any jail time at all. All he faces is five years probation and he has to do 800 hours of community service. 800 hours of community service after killing a black man. That black life means absolutely nothing. It means nothing to that judge. It means nothing to those people protesting for that police officer. It meant nothing to that punk prosecutor. And it damn sure didn't mean anything to that police officer who fired that shot. And my question is, black people, what are y'all going to do? Just like the last poet sing in that song. What are we going to do? I mean, how long are we going to allow this to continue? How long are we going to allow this injustice to constantly play itself out before our very eyes? Have we forgotten about Eric Garner? How they choked that brother live on camera and faced no charges, no conviction? walked free, how many times will we allow this to happen? Those Asians were sitting there protesting in support of this cop. The same Asians that take your money every day when you go to their restaurants, when you go to their grocery stores, when you go to their hair salons, when you buy items on the street from them. 
And we gladly give our money to these people. Enough is enough. The people who supported that cop need to be held accountable. And we should stop spending our money with those people. The people who have no respect for us, the people who disrespect us, disregard us, have no respect for our lives, we need to stand up with, against them. Make them feel our pain by hitting them in their pocket, by boycotting against them. They don't deserve our money. They don't deserve our respect. They're in our communities, milking our communities dry and we constantly give them our money. Enough of that. They don't deserve a dime of our money. So it's time for us to take that stand. This has to end, and we have to be the ones to end it. Action needs to be taken against the police, militant, civil, Disobedience needs to happen. Disobedience, it affects the, the money. It affects the economy. Then perhaps they will feel our pain. Perhaps they will make the change that we need to see. Not only in New York City, but around this country. <laughs>